everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to you. Going to be reading for the lovely star sign of Sagittarius. A Sagittarius. Okay, Sag. So before we get into looking at the book this week for your messages, I'm just going to bring out the movie book of answers and we'll just get a bit of an overall energy for this week. Excuse the plaster, I've hurt my thumb. So... Let's have a look what we've got. Go with the flow. And it's Fantastic Voyage, Dr. Michaels was the character. Go with the flow. Nothing really has to be explained about that quotation. So let's just grab my Oracle deck then, Sag. So basically it's sort of saying, don't get worrying too much um, about things this week. Okay? Just go with the flow and trust that things will work out in your favour. So let's have a look what we've got coming out in the cards. Sag. Square one. Back to square one. This is an energy that you may have been struggling with of late thinking that you're getting no progress on something. And as I said, it's like overtaxing the brain. And that is why that um, phrase came out, go with the flow. Don't over-dramatise things, okay? It may be saying to you as well, go back to square one to reassess uh, certain things that are in place that may be uh, becoming a bit of a challenge for you. And it's like to say, right, this isn't working. This area isn't working. Let's concentrate on, on what's uh, bringing the finances in, what's sort of not causing me so much stress. So go back to the drawing board, really. I feel like they're saying go with the flow with the situation, but go back to square one in reassessing that situation, okay? I just feel... Some planning is needed. When I look at this sort of picture here, it's like they're, they're sort of strategizing really. Right, this this isn't working. Uh, maybe if we change this. So it's basically looking at uh, planning. Okay. So let's get into your reading for this week. And the first card that comes out for you, Sag, is... The beautiful card of co-create. And you've got to use your knowledge this week. Two heads are better than one. And it's about strategizing. There's a plan hatching here from this square one card that I've just bought out for you. Forty is also a milestone for some of you uh, coming into the month of March. Maybe 40 is a milestone for some of you that you actually turn 40 this year. So they always say, don't they, life begins at 40. So I feel it's about maybe you've come to a time in your life where you're thinking, right, am I working too hard okay work smart not hard and that is why you go, you've got to go back to square one see things from a higher perspective that teacher is sort of looking to the future and the owl is there to say right you've sort of come halfway in your life point of life and I need to now look towards my future and create a plan, put a plan into action. Um, it's going to work for you and your family or you and your loved ones or just you full stop, okay? So the next card that comes out for you is the lovers. So the support here. It can be, uh, the lovers can associate as in a loving family environment as well. I feel if it's not you, then there's somebody around you who's feeling a little bit blue at the moment. 
not themselves. I look at the bird here and the colour. I work with colour, guys. So, emotions may be running high and you might, if it's not you, then there's somebody around you who might be sort of feeling guilty that they're not um, achieving as good as they should. There's also health related issues here uh, around you or around somebody and again the support comes in either you're supporting somebody who's not too well at the moment or vice versa. We then have the card of the path and this is a new portal this is a new opening okay there's a little bit of reluctancy here as well in climbing that ladder um, to see what is awaiting you but there's a new pathway being forged here if it's not being done by yourself it's being guided by the universe and the divine it can also mean climbing up the ladder okay the career ladder for some of you and it can also mean about revisiting something from your past visiting a place maybe um, returning to a place if you're booking a holiday later on in the year you're returning to the same place of where you went the year before and I feel the 8th of March is significant for some news for some of you we then have the animal spirit cards and we've got the beautiful card of the swan here and also the butterfly at the bottom the swan is a water energy and it's sort of you giving this everything's all right on the surface but underneath your legs are paddling like 10 to the dozen to keep your head above water but there is going to be a change and things are going to lighten up around you because we've got the butterfly energy of air so this is the situation that you're in at the moment okay trying to put a brave face on things and you are sort of working really hard to put some transformations into your life to make it not such a hectic or burdened kind of stress on you we then have the sun dancers and it's joyful activity celebration of life and abundance now that is a beautiful energy i just feel that i'm picking up on this message there's something not working you're struggling and you're thinking right we go back to square one here we've got to look at where we're living we've got to look at the relationship i've got to look at what i'm doing got to look at the work ethics it's that kind of a message but you will go with the flow you will get things back on track and it's joyful activities and the celebration of life I feel that like some of you who are turning 40 I really do think there's some 40 milestones coming up for some of you and abundance so and again we've got two people here who sort of two heads again are better than one we then have, look, it comes up um, as lighten your load. And this is what I'm feeling. This was what I was feeling from the start of this reading. At the moment, you're very, very burdened. You feel weighted down. You're struggling to make ends meet. And you've got to make some changes. Okay, this is not the way to go forward. You need to see the light. Okay, open your eyes and start to make changes. We then have the beautiful card of light codes. Travel awaits you. And this comes in with the light codes, as in downloads. It's sort of giving signs and signals around you um, of what you should be concentrating on. Light codes, as I say, can be sort of uh, messages. You know, sometimes when we hear that sort of high-pitched buzzing in our ears, that is what I feel is not tinnitus, okay? I mean, people do suffer with tinnitus, but you know when you've got that because it's a medical condition and it's there most of the time. I'm on about those very short noises that you get in your ear and they're here for 30 seconds and gone. And I do believe that is some kind of light coding that we have sent down to us, okay? Uh, it sort of comes into our subconscious and then we start to notice things um, around us. Travel awaits you. I do feel that maybe some of you may be thinking of um, traveling later on in the year. In this country or the country that you live in i don't expect you to be traveling abroad or what have you 
But I just feel here that can, travel can also mean going for new jobs maybe, okay? Travelling can mean going to look at new properties where you want to live or businesses that you want to sort of... Um, premises that you you may be interested in so it's that kind of an energy we then have the beautiful cards of returning home and its transition life between lifetimes and loving welcome so returning home here this is a sense of some of you could be putting in a lot of hours okay within your work whether you're self-employed or whether you work for somebody it could be a lot of hours um, over time because obviously you want to try and get funds in to support your, your home environment. But returning home here, this, this can have like a couple of meanings. It could be to do with somebody who's been in hospital for the last few weeks and it's like a message to say they will be returning home. If this is not you directly, then it's somebody around you who could have been in and out of hospital but now they're back home, okay, to recoup. It's that kind of an energy. But we've got a transition in this message as well. Transition and life between lifetimes. So there's a thought pattern going on here. Thought processes going on as around you, okay? And the returning home can be returning back to a state of normality where you have been out of sorts, you have been overstretched, and it's like, getting that plan together to feel more comfortable within your home environment. Now the message from spirit and your guides and angels at the bottom here says, the spirit of the ocean calls you, offering healing and much needed peace. Come to the water and connect with its endless flow of magic. You need a change of scenery, take a holiday and all will fall into place. Now not everybody's got the funds to go on holiday, but everybody can find a water source that is close to where they live if it's just a canal a lake a stream okay just get yourself into nature and do what spirits say there you need to connect okay you need a change of scenery and just find some peace and that way you will reconnect to your higher self and get some kind of information from those light codes that we had in that card before so just feel there's a call for change here, okay? Hence why it's saying returning home because at the moment, whatever's going on, it's not sitting well with you. And for these Sagittarians I'm connecting with, there's some kind of restlessness going on. So we then have the card of attachment. And attachment can be on material things, attachment can be on people. So there's some kind of message here to say you need to look at your attachments. You need to look at your material um, things around you. Because if you're trying to generate assets or trying to generate money, then sometimes we have to let these things go. Um, things that, you know, we've not worn, maybe clothing or things that have been lying around in the cupboard that you could make money from and also attachment of people okay looking at your friends associates and wondering whether these friend attachments are serving you um, anymore so there's something to be looked at here okay because she wears a chain around her arm so there's some attachments here that are not welcomed anymore and you need to face facts. She's facing facts here that some things need to be let go of. We then have the path exploration. So there is a change here. There is some change of direction. There is some change of planning that needs to be done. And this is what it's saying. You need to find a new pathway. A new pathway awaits for you, Sag. Lovely energy. So... We then have the cards of stretch, okay, at the top here. I'll just show you the picture if I can. Stretch. And we have the eight of water. 
Stretch is about stretching your own capabilities. Okay, you need to grow as a person. You need to start to be focusing on what makes you happy, what makes you flourish. And then we've got the eight of water saying your ship is coming in slowly in order to bring you material gains and material wealth. You've got to put a focus out though and you've got to overstretch yourself, okay? What we don't, it's sort of what we sow is what we reap. So whatever's going to be put into plans of action now, I feel this is a message also to say by August this year, going into the fall, going to sort of September, October, then you will see the rewards of what you put in place now. And then the final card that comes out is Believe in Magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern light says you are part of nature so you are, you are magical too. Here it's about spirituality though. I was look at the colours in this purple and it's sort of saying to you, okay, um, work with the energies that are around you and believe, okay, start to believe in you believe in yourself and start to put some manifestations in for, as I said, going through to autumn of this year. But basically, I want to say believe in yourself, Sag. So my lovely Sagittarians, I hope you can take something from that message this week. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs because there could be a few more snippets in there. Any likes, comments, subscribe guys, just keeps the analytics pushing along as normal. So until next time, you take care of yourself. Bye then.